Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome back to the channel. I figured this morning I'd take you on my little morning routine. Show y'all kind of what I do. First thing I do is check on my animals. But before I do that, let me show you what my carrots are looking like. Look at those. Looking good. All right, they they are uh they are awake this morning. So these are my turkeys that I am going to keep. They are going to pretty much um be the ones that I breed and they hatch out new eggs. And then I'm going a, I'm to a raise those up. Hopefully I end up with a, a good little flock of turkeys. They got plenty of food. So I just look. See if I can zoom in there. I look in that little hole right there. You probably can't see it. But was that a mouse? Um, You probably can't see it. But I can see they, they got plenty of food in there. And then, yeah, what's up? Good morning. I think I got a a new rooster over here. I might have to go check on that in a second in my chicken tractor. But I come in here and check on my... Check on my chickens. They got good feed in there. I don't got to fill that back up just yet. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, I definitely got me a rooster over there. I might have to go check on them. So they got water. Uh -uh. They got... They got food. Everybody's looking good. See if I got an egg in here. No eggs. I gotta check inside too, cause I just I just made. Hey y'all, good morning. I just made some new laying boxes I put these inside of here I don't know if that focus up too well like to do it in here but I put these in here so they would lay some eggs in those because they like laying over in that corner over there but since I put those in here they've been laying in those so I'm happy with that good morning everybody y'all say good morning there you go Big Papa. Big Papa said good morning, y'all. And I need to do uh, one of those. I need to put that little. I know I'm coming over there. I need to put one of those strings on here and put a hole in here somewhere so that I can pull the rope and, and, and open that up. Cause I got locked inside there one time. That's why this hole exists. <laughs> it was it was when I was building it. The dough slammed shut on me, and I'd already uh, uh, put this on there, so I couldn't get back out without breaking it. So I I um I cut a hole in here so I could reach over and and, and put that. So that wasn't originally meant for ventilation right there. I had some ventilation holes up top on this side. <laughs> that I had in there and uh so that other the other ventilation hole you know it, it definitely wasn't planned I'll leave it at that all right let me come over here I heard some crowing going on this is where I got my my chicken tractor at how y'all doing this morning yeah 
see if I can get down there and see y'all. Uh -uh. Y'all doing good? You need something to eat? I got you. Give me a second. Yeah, I think today I need to go and get some, uh, sit this down. Today I might have to go and pick up some feed. Everybody's running a little bit low. I got you. I might have to move them later today. Be good for y'all for right now. I gotta clean out their water too. I'll get to that today for sure. I'm not too worried about it during the day, making sure this is locked, but I gotta make sure at night that it's good and secure. We're good on water. All right. You can see where the chicken tractor's been. So next I'm going to move it over here. I got all these daggone boards in the way. They're going to mess me up, but I can do a whole another round trip back down through here next time i'll be a little bit more um precise see how i missed this whole side over here <clears throat> i need to do better i need to move the chicken tractor all the way over here to this fence line and pull it down there so i have more room over here on this side all right so everybody's got food Everybody's got water. Everybody's looking nice and healthy. Um, and that's that's all for the animals that it takes me in the morning. Except for my rabbits. I don't have to check on my rabbits all the time. Um, I mean, I go over there and look at them and whatnot. But other than that, they got water coming in through, through this hose right here. And uh, they don't eat very much, so... I come in here and check it though. Well, he needs to be refilled a little bit, so let me refill him. I got another uh bag of rabbit feed. I need to go ahead and grab that and bring it on up here. I'm gonna do that right now while I'm thinking about it. Hey girl, how you doing? You doing good?
Hey, buddy. How you doing? There you go. What's up, bud? You getting big in there? You show sure in. Hey, girl. I got you some food. There you go. What's up, mama? Eating good in there? I see you. And that's pretty much it for the rabbits. So, everybody's fed. Everybody got water. Then I go check on my on my plants. Now, normally, I have three gardens I have to go tend to. And uh, I'll put this bag down here right now. I won't forget it. I will not forget that bag. All right, so my onions are looking good. Don't really need much water on that, but I'm going to give them a little bit. This is uh, kind of a small germination test. I planted these three cells with two in each. And then I planted these a few weeks later with two in each. These are the only two to come up yet. So I'm, uh, I'm still testing those. Those are for my Roselle. I got my sweet potatoes in here, and uh, obviously they just got put in here the other day, so they need some, uh, they still need some more days in here. Um, I did eat a couple of them, and man, let me tell you, the more, <laughs> I ate like three of them, and the more of them I ate, <laughs> the more mad I was about that daggone harvest. <laughs> Cause them things is good. Oh my goodness, they're good. So next year I got I gotta do better next year. Cause them things is good. Woo, let me stop thinking about it. Let's go outside. <laughs> All right, so we out here with my containers. Got a little calendula down in there. Rough up this ground a little bit around here. Kill them weeds. That's how easy it is right there. I do that about once a week. All right, got another calendula right there. Some more calendula right there. My garlic, my elephant garlic that is in those uh, grow bags there. Um, I reached down in there the other day to check a few and they, they're sprouting. So those should be coming up anytime now. I don't like how these right here are doing. This is uh, broccoli, but uh, they uh, they haven't been growing very fast. Maybe just take a little bit longer. They got some new growth down in there, though. I don't know if you can see it. Got some new growth. So we'll see. <clears throat> I'll get some water on this over here. Another calendula right there. I'll get some water on that. My sage plant. <clears throat> oh look at these strawberries i meant to show y'all this the other day look at how they look compared to when i planted them last week so what i like to do with my strawberries look at that is uh i go ahead and set now these right here are the ones i already had planted those those right there but look at that one look at that they're looking good and so look at that some of them taking a little bit longer. And like this one right here, you know, it don't look too good, but I can see some green down here. So I'm going to let it keep going. <clears throat> I got my trees out here. I'll get them a little bit of water on them. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just tickled about this daggone, these three raised beds right here. 
I got my elephant garlic coming up. You can see them in the middle right there. But this right here, Brussels sprouts. This row right here look, man, that look good. And these broccoli, man, they, they getting tall. Look at that. That elephant garlic right there. Yep. The broccoli looking good. And the um the kale. Let's see. You can't tell me nothing about that kale, and it tastes good too. Let me get a piece. <clears throat> I'm gonna break off this one right here. You can see how big that is. I mean, I ain't got small hands, so man look at that that sounds good right there mm, mm. y'all mm. i ain't much better you know we're eating the stem off of it ain't much better than that right there uh basil i'm pretty much done with my basil time i harvested a lot off of that the other day so <clears throat> i think i'm gonna leave that because i got a bunch in the house right now same with the oregano and that oregano will keep coming that time will keep coming back and in the and the rosemary will keep coming back i just harvested all three of those so and the in this area over here all of this gets automatic water, so I'm not worried about watering that. I just got to water that over there. Let me get on that right now, as a matter of fact, before I forget about it. Now let me go back here and check on those those carrots I was looking at earlier. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing, Peanut Gallery? All right. Oh, look at that, too. Let me show you that. So this is my asparagus. And I grew these from seed this year. And I'm going to save all these seeds on here. All these little balls will have seeds in them. So I'm going to save those seeds, but here soon I'm going to have to do a video, well, after the first frost, and these, uh, all the ferns die back. They're starting to yellow now, so they're getting close, but these will die back, and they'll get brown, and I'll show you uh, how I overwinter these, and uh, we're going to get a good crop of asparagus next year. May not still be any eating size next year, but I think they did well this year for growing them from seed. It's my first time ever growing them from seed. So I think they look good. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that after that, after that, uh, that sweet potato harvest the other day. Man, them things was good. Uh, <laughs> but my carrots are coming up. Look at those. They looking good in the neighborhood. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Yep. That's Big Papa. Oh, I think that was Big. No, that wasn't Big Papa. That was uh one of the one of the new ones. Starting to sound grown. But them carrots are looking good. They're gonna overwinter real nice over here. I'll be uh harvesting from them throughout the whole winter so i don't thin them out so you see it look like a bunch like that right there 
I just leave it. I don't thin them out. I'll just be harvesting from it, and then they'll make room, and they'll push each other. Okay, okay. We good? All right. Um, I'll be. They'll be pushing each other out of the way, and when I remove some, it'll make more room for others to grow. So, should get a real nice harvest out of those. And I still got my onion area right here that I gotta. I gotta work on. I'll probably get to that this week, but I gotta take this whole area right here and prepare it, make beds. I figured out right here, I just was messing around this year. I planted some stuff in there, but hey, some of these long beans, these jokers right here, I harvested some yesterday and cooked them up. Now they're not as good when they big like that, but when they small like that one, oh man, them things is good. <clears throat> so I got to harvest some more off of them today. But I figured I could do my sweet potatoes here next year. I put a big old raised bed right here. This is a nice big old area. And um, I think, I think I'm going to do my sweet potatoes right there. Yep, that's, that's what's going to happen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. I'm gonna because I'm taking apart some beds in one of my other gardens, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put two of them together and make a big bed down here. That's sure enough what I'm gonna do. My sorrel, my sorrel. Man, I had I had so much sorrel this year. I'm saving seeds from some of them. I need to do a seed saving video, but I'm saving seeds from some of them, and uh. Man, I still got a ton left. But I'm I'm knocking them out bit by bit. Look at that garden. It might not look like much right now, but you give it you give it another month or so. It's gonna be popping. All right, y'all. That's pretty much my morning. Oh, I tell you. Whenever they hear me start talking, they gotta show off. But <laughs> that's pretty much my morning routine there. Um, it's not very difficult because I got things in place. I'm not sitting there feeding everybody. I'm not sitting there making sure everybody got water. I mean, I checked to make sure they got water, but I'm not sitting there physically giving them water and giving them feed because they already got it, except for the rabbits this morning. They needed to be topped off, but, um, these rabbits don't eat very much. I let them, I let them, I don't, I don't give them just enough for one day. You know what I'm saying? I, I give them enough that lasts them for a few days. I don't mind how much they eat because the more they eat, the more they poop, and I need to poop. So um, I do end up paying a little bit more in feed, but they still don't eat a lot. I go through a bag on a, on a rough month and maybe a bag and a half, but that's about it. Uh, chickens, at the current capacity that I'm at, I go through 10, I mean, four bags of... Uh, of layer and two bags of grower. So six bags of chicken and then turkeys go through two bags. Um, and I also get two bags of scratch to, to add in there with, with the chicken and the turkeys. So, but anyway, so yep, I check on my animals first. That's first and foremost, every single day I check on my animals and then I go into the greenhouse, see what's going on in there. And then I check out my gardens. Normally I'd have two more gardens to go check on I don't check on the orchard every morning, but sometime throughout the day, I normally get back there. Right now, since it's hunting season, I stay out of the orchard because that's where I hunt at. So, um, but I can see from a distance, you know, that they're doing good. And I know that they're getting water because I got the automatic timer set on them. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if y'all like this type of video. I haven't really done a vlog type video before. So, um, you know, hey. I'm trying new things, seeing what seeing what you guys like. And I, as always, I appreciate all the support to this point. You guys are great. Um man, it's it's this is a this is an amazing journey. It's it's mind blowing, really. But anyway, oh let me tell you something before I let you go. Man, so let me I'm gonna get you turned around here. So I'm outside this morning in my in my Crocs, but let me tell you, these socks right here, 
Hey, check, uh, Turkey to tell you, these are amazing socks. They come up real nice. Um, they uh, they're wool, so they they moisture wicking, you know, so they don't your, your feet don't sweat in these things. Man, it's amazing. All this extra cushion down here. It's they're so comfortable. Um, the good folks over at Camel City Mill. They sent me these and, uh, you know, wanted my honest opinion on them. And man, these things are great. I love them. They uh, honestly, and you know, they're not paying me to say this. They did send me two pairs of socks. So it's not like, you know, that's, uh, you know, some, some big amount of endorsement or something like that. But when I tell you that these things right here are comfortable, they breathe. My feet ain't sweating. Um, they got the, like I said, they got these extra pads on the bottom of them. This is not for design right here. This is extra material that they have on them. Extra on the heel. And y'all know, if you know me, made in America, hey, I believe in supporting our hard working men and women in America. I don't want all our stuff shipped over to China and, and all these other places um to make our stuff so anyway um i'm gonna put the link to these in the description and check them out they hey ladies i know y'all like to buy socks for your man for for christmas buy him some socks that he actually gonna love okay don't buy him them daggone walmart socks that he gonna rip the toe out in in, in about a week and a half and you're gonna say man you rough on socks these socks are guaranteed for 10 years. 10 years. Read it. Read it on the website. They got it on the website. Um, check my check my link. Um, and uh hey, don't 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 take my word for it. It's on their website, all the technology that goes into them. Um, they're not your everyday run-of-the-mill socks. Okay. These are really, really great socks. Um, they could be the last socks that you buy until you retire from whatever job you're working at. So I know a lot of the hardworking people that get out there and, and hump it every day, like, like myself, you can appreciate a nice pair of boots and a, and a nice pair of socks that they help your feet all day. And, spe and even my people out there in retail and stuff like that, these socks are great. I'm telling you, you're up on your feet all day. You have got to try them. I'm going to get off my soapbox on that. Sorry, I went on my soapbox there a little bit, but um, I do really, really like these socks. Um, telling you, Christmas presents, these socks sitting in that tree stand, these socks. I'm going to get off. The, I'm going to get off <laughs> of the soapbox. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but anyway. Y'all check out the links below, all of them, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>